people do is uh, you would do a create a new database if you are starting off, and this is what it would look like. In the file name, you would put in whatever uh, you decide you wanted to call yourself. Our, my file is called Hardscape Solutions Contractor. That's my file that I'll be working on. And then you would, you would save that, and that would become your major database that you would enter and, and, and use for um, your day-to-day -day thing. You can always run a number of different uh, da databases. For those uh, contractors that would have um, multiple users, they would probably have multiple different uh, databases that they would use. And I'm just going to cancel this out and go back to the main screen. If we check this detail, either we check it. If it's checked, it will automatically open up the last used database and, and not go into this area. So it, if we opened up most recent database, which is mine, the, um, then it would go directly to this screen. From here, we can we can go down into these different areas. We go to a, go to my project, to a video tutor about this program, visit our website, user guide, and then we can also exit this program. Before we do that, let's go across the toolbar a little bit more. The settings. If we open up the settings, click on it, you'll see company information detail. And this is where you would put your company information, the address, because all of this information that's being put in here will show up on a printed documents from then on, any documents that you will email, print, or save will be have this information on it. So you want to try to get the right information in. You can also select a logo from your desktop and import it into that area as well. And that's what we've done with Cornerstone logos in, in place in here. And that shows up on every printed and emailed document from then on. So each contractor, if you are talking to contractors or dealers that are going to be using this program, this would be something that they could do and, and customize and also personalize that docu the documents that they send out. I'll cancel, save and close out on this and go back up to settings. And we got also print settings. And this is probably nothing that you'll change, but you can if you'd like to customize the prints, the size of the pages in their various areas. I just and you can preview as you as you change the uh, colors or documents that you you uh, would like to do. I've just left it as per the uh, what the settings were when the program was developed. So um, we'll just we'll just save it and, and close out. When we're in the settings areas. We are going to also look at the email settings. And here you will put your, uh, your server information, your port, your uh, username, password, various other things in order to be able to uh, log into that email settings. And here you can also change your, your first uh, documents. This is going to be a default message that will come up when you do an email. This will be a, the, the heading of that area. I will close out here again and um, we will go down to the calculator. There's a small calculator for us to be able to use to um, just sort of to um, do any kind of calculations that are ongoing if we need to. And we can close that out. And then there's a whole help line as well. Get help on screen, user guide, visit our website, systems information about, and then there's a quick estimator software, which I'll talk to you about later on. And that's basically the, the toolbar that goes across the top to, uh, in order for us to get started.